Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. If you guys are new here, my name is Taylor. Please subscribe to the channel if you guys like this video. And today I want to talk to you guys about God's love. Now, I was studying for this video and usually I have a whole bunch of notes and I try and go off of my notes, but as I was studying for this, God just told me to let His Holy Spirit take over and I just asked Him to speak through me. So I have some verses that I'm going to talk about, but really I'm just going to speak from what He's shown me in the last couple days and I'm just going to let Him speak through me. So, a lot of us struggle with accepting that God can love us, right? Maybe you weren't loved throughout your life. Maybe you don't feel worthy that God can love you, right? Maybe you struggle with your guilt of sin. And uh, maybe just you've never really experienced true unconditional love from somebody. And I don't think we can ever truly experience what unconditional love is like when it comes to God here on this earth, except through His understanding of His love. So I first want to read from Ephesians 3 verses 14 and 19 which says, For this reason I bow my knees before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of His glory He may grant you to be strengthened with power through His Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge you may be filled with all the fullness of God so have you guys ever gotten on your knees and asked God to show you his love have you ever asked him to pour out his love on you right it's only through his Holy Spirit that we are able to comprehend in some fashion what it is to know God's love and I can sit here and you guys can watch this video and you guys can hear me. You guys can understand what I'm saying. But until you seek God for yourself, until you get on your knees and you ask his Holy Spirit to show you what love is, you will not understand fully, right? You will not experience it. You will not know it in your spirit. You can know it in your mind, but you will not know it in your spirit. Okay, so you need to ask God to give you that knowledge that surpasses human understanding, right? It says that his love, we need to understand the height and the depth and the length of it, right? It's beyond human comprehension. That's how much he loves us. It is not an earthly love, right? It's not a human form of love. My idea of love is so sinful and so wicked and so flawed compared to God's love. Okay, I always compare it this way. Whoever it is in your life that you love the most, right? Whether that be your son, your daughter, your father. If you guys don't really like people that much, but you guys have an animal that you love, right? Like I know I love my dogs, right? I have three dogs and I love my dogs. If you love your cat, you can love your cat, right? But that deep, deep love that we feel for them doesn't compare to how God loves us, right? It doesn't even come close. We don't even scratch the surface of what God's love is for us, okay? He sent his son to die on the cross for your sins. And before he died on the cross, he was tortured. He was spat upon. They put a crown of thorns on his head, right? It says they whipped him. We don't know what that whip was intertwined with. It could have been shards of glass. It could have been small rocks. But every time they whipped him, it cracked open his skin, right? He was subject to such extreme forms of torture that we would never subject our son or daughter to. Right, or someone that we love so much in this world, we would never subject them to that kind of torture. But God sent his only son to take that torture for us. That's how much he loves you. Right? He came in the form of a man. Right? Almighty God came in the form of pitiful, pathetic man to take the punishment for your sins and to be spat upon and mocked and beaten and bruised and hung on a cross. And then to take the punishment for your sins. Right? And conquer hell. That's how much God loves you. That's how much he loves me. Right? But we have this understanding of love that's so flawed. How could God love me? You know, I'm so sinful. I turn my back on him. I'm constantly sinning. How could he love me? But again, his love is beyond our comprehension. Okay? And you guys can't take my word for it. You need to seek him. Because again, what I'm going to tell you guys today you can know it in your mind, but until you study the Bible and until you get on your knees deep in prayer and ask God to reveal that love to you, ask him to overwhelm you with that love, you will never understand it fully. You will never be able to comprehend it. You will never be able to experience it. Okay, I know because over the last couple days, I was really struggling, right? I was really struggling with, does God love me? Right? I was having all these doubts. I was having all these just thoughts in my head of, you know, am I even like, worthy to be doing what he's called me to be doing like how can he love me and I got on my knees 
Right? I got on my knees and I said, Lord, I need you to show me your love. I need to experience your love. Let me know you love me. Let me understand what your love is for me. And I was driving today and I was worshiping him and I was just singing out loud in my car and I just felt his presence overwhelm me in my car. Right? I felt him just crushing me with his love. And if you've ever experienced that before, you know what I'm talking about. He was crushing me with his love and it was so intense. I almost had to pull over. Luckily, I was almost home. Right, but I pulled into my driveway, I took off my hat, and I just put my head in my steering wheel, and I just cried. Right, I just cried, and I just soaked in this feeling of love that God was pouring out on me. Okay, but even if you've ever experienced that feeling before, it's not even going to come close to how much God really loves you. Right, and what we're going to experience when we get to heaven, the love that we're going to experience from Him when we get to heaven. We can't absorb God's love right now. We can't feel God's love fully because we would die. Right? When Moses went up to the mountain to get the Ten Commandments and he came down because he was in the presence of God, he had to cover his face because his, the presence of God was radiating from his face and it would have killed everyone that looked at his face. Okay, we cannot comprehend it. Okay, and again, God sent his son to die for you. That's how much he loves you. Okay, it says in Romans 8.32, He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Okay, so if he gives us his only son and he subjects his own son to that kind of torture, how much more will he give us all things? Right? When you ask him to show you his love, he will show you his love. Okay, how much more will he not give you all things? When you ask him according to his will, and God wants you to know how much he loves you. Okay, God isn't up there like, well, you got to earn my love. Right? And so many times we think that we got to be reading our Bible more, we got to be praying more, we got to be doing more works, and then God might love me. Right? You're trying to earn his love or you're trying to work hard enough for his love, but you could never do enough to earn his love. Okay? There's no amount of religion that could earn his love or allow you to experience his love. It is only through the Holy Spirit giving you knowledge that surpasses all understanding are you ever going to experience his love. Okay, Let's take a look at John 15 verses 16 which says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit may abide so that whatever you ask in the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Okay, so this is Jesus talking. It said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should bear fruit. Okay, and that fruit you will abide. So check this out. God loves you so much that he chose you, right? He first loved you. And when you accepted that free gift, now he's going to produce good fruit in your life through the Holy Spirit. And as a result of that fruit, you're going to be able to abide in him. Okay, that's how it works. It's not works to earn fruit and to earn God's love. That's backwards, right? God loves you, which is going to produce fruit in your life, which is going to allow you to abide in him and live in his presence. Right, when I understood that, I started to understand how much God loved me. That it has nothing to do with me, right? It has all to do with his mercy and his grace. It has everything to do with him and nothing to do with me. Okay, let's look at Psalms 23 verses 6, which says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, right? It doesn't matter how many times you failed him. Okay, there is always a forgiveness for sin. There is always a love that God has for you. It's an unconditional agape love that we cannot understand. But his love is going to follow us all the days of our life. And we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay? That's how much he loves you. That even when you fail him, right? even when you don't love him, even when you're not pursuing him, he still loves you. Okay? And he just wants you to love him. Right? Obviously, we need to repent. And there's going to be times where he disciplines us. But how does he discipline you? He disciplines you out of love, not anger. Okay, again, if you're a parent and you have a child and your child does something they shouldn't, do you discipline them out of anger and hate because you hate them so much for not listening to you? Or you, do you discipline them out of love because you want them to be a better person, right? You want them to grow up to be a better adult. God wants us to grow up into better spiritual adults. He wants us to keep maturing in the spirit into being more Christ-like, right? And that's why he disciplines us. He never disciplines you out of anger. He already took the punishment for all your sin on the cross. He exhausted his wrath for you on the cross, on Jesus. There's no more wrath and anger for you, okay? And again, you guys can hear me tell you these things. You can understand them with your mind, but until you seek God with your own heart, until you get on your knees in prayer and really seek him and ask him to show you that love, you are not going to experience it. 
right? You're not going to fully experience it because you cannot understand it unless the Holy Spirit gives you that understanding and you need to ask God to give you that understanding. We need to put away the cell phones, right? We need to put away the TVs. We need to put away the video games. We need to put away all these distractions that we have, right? And we need to seek God, right? How much time do you spend reading your Bible and studying your Bible, not just reading it, right? Studying it and trying to understand what it really means. And how much time are you praying compared to how much time you're spending on YouTube, right? How much time you're watching prophecy videos, how much time you're watching the news to figure out what's going on with the election results or impeachment or civil war, all this stuff, right? How much are you really seeking God compared to how much time you're putting in all this other stuff? Okay, God wants your heart. Again, this is a love issue. God wants your heart, okay? He wants your attention. He doesn't want your religion. You can't earn his favor. You can't earn his love. That's why Jesus died for your sins because you couldn't earn it. Right? God wants your heart. He wants you to love him because he first loved you. And listen, if you came to God out of fear, I understand that. Right? I came to God because I feared going to hell. Right? But fear will not keep you. Love will keep you. I always tell this to people. I would never die for someone that I feared, but I would die for somebody that I loved. Right? Fear might bring you, but love is what keeps you. Okay? And God wants you to understand that love. We need to, fear, the Bible says to fear God, but that's a respect thing, right? It's not fear God like, oh my gosh, I'm afraid God doesn't love me. I'm afraid he's going to judge me for this and that. It's a respect, right? Fear the Lord because you respect him, right? Fear his power because you know that by living in sin, right, he does have to discipline you, okay? But he wants you to understand how much he loves you. So I just want to speak to you guys today and let you know that God loves you. Right? You need to understand his love. And you're not going to understand it by listening to this video. You're really not. Right? You might understand what I'm saying. But if I can get one point across to you, again, it is to get on your knees and pray. And ask God to show you his love. Ask him to reveal his love for you. Right? And it might not happen right then and there. I was on my knees yesterday praying. And I was asking God, Lord, I need you to pour out your love for me. I need you to pour out your love for me. I need you to show me. Right? It didn't happen right then and there. But the next day, I'm driving. And guess what? That was the time. That was God's timing. He's like, okay, now, and drop that love bomb on me. He doesn't want you to be in this constant state of, oh, my disappointing God. I don't know if he likes me, let alone loves me, right? He wants you to understand his love because once you understand his love, then you can go and tell other people how much God loves them. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, right? He loved the world. So God bless you guys. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Please like and comment. It just helps our channel grow. God bless you and we'll see you guys next time.